Hello and welcome to the SAE Blizzard Baja Design Expo video. I am Kurt Booms, the current chief engineer of the team. As in the name, we are an SAE race team. We are a part of the Advanced Motorsports Enterprise Program through the Palos Honors College. We consist of a group of 30 to 35 students being open to most majors across campus. Through skills learned in the classroom, we design and build a single seat off-road car as shown in the photo. We participate in the collegiate design series events held by the Baja SAE, along with other regional races, including our own Winter Baja event. Some projects we currently have include ongoing clutch tuning for improved acceleration. The CAD model shown is a proposed primary clutch sheath. We also pursue composite body panels to save weight and two senior designs, which the respective teams will discuss in a moment. My name is Eric Bauer, and I'm here on behalf of myself and Jake Feedy to talk about the suspension senior design within the Blizzard Baja Enterprise. So problems with the previous system, one is that it's not four-wheel drive capable, which is very important being that our team is switching to a four-wheel drive vehicle. We had poor load path on frontal impacts. We were stiff over small impacts, but bottomed easily on large jumps. And our tie rods were loaded in compression at full turn, and when hit impacts at full turn, this would cause buckling of the tie rod. Preliminary testing, we worked with Michigan Scientific to procure a wheel force transducer and utilize that along with accelerometers and strain gauges to collect data on the previous suspension system to correlate that with finite element analysis models of that system and to build new models of the new system. We utilized a private testing facility here in the copper country and built competition style obstacles such as jumps, logs, whoops, and other things. For the design, when we focused on four-wheel drive capabilities, we also increased the suspension arm caster, which allowed us to absorb frontal impacts much better. We also changed the design for how the tie rod is loaded. If you look on the right side of the screen, you see a joint. This is at the end of the suspension arm. And this joint previously just allowed the vehicle to turn, but now this joint also stops turning at a certain point rather than having our tie rod being loaded and having that stop the turning. This takes off the load on the tie rod that caused buckling in the past. We also used a new spring damper system that is much more adjustable and much more suited to our vehicle than what had been used previously. Here is a picture of all of the components outside of the spring damper and the frame for our suspension senior design. Of the components that you see on the screen outside of nuts and bolts, over 70% of the remaining components were completely designed and manufactured in-house by Blizzard Baja students. And of all the components that you see on the screen, over 75% of them are brand new to this system and had never been used on one of our vehicles in the past. When it comes to manufacturing, the team utilized CNC manufacturing, TIG welding, and the use of welding fixtures that were designed and made in-house, such as the one on the top right. Uh, everything was done in-house except for the wire DM of some splines that was done graciously by Michigan Scientific Corporation. Final testing, we utilized the Winter Baja Endurance Race uh, to do some endurance testing on the vehicle. Our data collection plans were derailed by the COVID-19 situation, but the team will be doing final testing in the fall of 2020 to validate the finite element analysis models and these components fully. Uh, give some acknowledgments to General Motors, the enterprise manufacturing initiative hosted by Blake and Jason. It's been a great help to us, both on the professional side, but also on the funding of this project. I uh, thank Dr. Jason Blau, Kevin Johnson, and all of the MMET machine shop staff as well. My name is John Bloom Edmonds. And I'm Todd Thibodeau. And our senior design is a brake system for the Baja car. A bit about our project is we are tasked with designing and manufacturing a complete brake system for the 2019-2020 competition vehicle. We chose this project because in the past there was no previous uh, engineering work done on, our, on that aspect of our vehicle, which gave us an excellent opportunity for optimization and further improvement. The two major aspects of our senior design were the caliper design and the rotor design for both the front and the rear. Our main solution was to create a floating dual piston design that could be used on both the front and rear without changing the component. Uh, this is in contrast to our current setup, or previous setup rather, that used a different type of caliper for the front versus the rear braking. 
The primary goals on the caliper was just to reduce the weight and size to assist in unsprung mass uh, reduction and adaptability. And we were able to achieve a 39% reduction in mass in the front and a 47% reduction in mass in the rear. The rotors primarily had the same goals of reducing unsprung mass and rotational weight. And in the front, we were able to reduce that mass by 36% and in the rear by 37%. Due to the COVID-19 shutdown, we were unable to finish testing or validating our project, so this is something that will need to be done in the future. Additionally, we would recommend our team to explore switching our billet design to a casted design in order to reduce wasted material and machine time, as well as look at optimizing the caliper mount as the rear mounting requires a bit more of an involved changeover process. And for some quick acknowledgments, we'd like to say thank you to Chad and Paul over at Roush. Their input really helped us in the very beginning when we were figuring out what calculations to do for a industry standard brake design. Uh, we'd like to thank our team. They've been a pleasure to work with and have been very helpful in input and helping to kind of weed out the best way to go about designing our brakes. And to the Meme and M&M shop staff. They have been a great help, especially in the ends of manufacturing and uh, manufacturability of our parts. Thank you to the respective teams for giving insight on their projects. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak within the U.S., the National Baja SAE has canceled the CDS Dynamic Race events. From that, we plan to return in the fall semester with plans to complete early testing validating the senior design parts. We plan to start our four-wheel drive car build next fall and hopes to race it the following summer at the national level. We will continue to develop engineering skills within our members and hold our annual Winter Baja event, which we hope to see you at. Thank you to all our sponsors who are listed below, and thank you to our advisors, Kevin Johnson and Stephen Ma, along with the Double MET Sheen Shop staff.